Hello and welcome to the first part of our Click Capability API series. In this course, we're going to learn exactly what the Capability APIs are, when to use them, and how to get started. Before taking this course, you should be comfortable with the basic concepts of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You'll also need ClickSense Desktop installed and running, and a copy of the WBY Sales QVF file. To learn more about the setup required for these courses, check out our Getting Started with WebZ Academy video. The Capability APIs are a collection of JavaScript APIs that allow developers to easily embed ClickSense content in a web application. They provide the ability to embed existing content from your ClickSense apps. We can use them to create new content on demand. And they also expose common click concepts like variables, bookmarks, and selections. Above all, though, it's the ability to use the click visualization library with just a few lines of JavaScript that make the APIs so powerful. Here's a list of the APIs within the Capability API collection. We've highlighted the ones we'll be looking at in this course. To create solutions with the Capability APIs, you can use the tool of your choice. If you don't have one, we'd recommend one of the following. Click also provide an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, called the DevHub, which provides a series of drag and drop functions and shortcuts to help developers build widgets, extensions, and solutions with the Capability APIs. We won't be focusing on the DevHub a lot in this course, but if you want to take a look yourself, you can open it directly from the ClickSense Hub. This assumes you have permissions to access it. If you don't see the menu option, then you should contact your system administrator. The Capability APIs and the ClickSense Client UI are built using many third-party libraries, including Require.js and AngularJS. These libraries need to be a part of our web application so that the Click APIs function correctly. As a result, it's important to understand the implications of having these libraries in our solution. Require.js is a JavaScript module loader and is one of the many that are available today. If you're embedding click content into an existing site which uses a module loader, then you may run into issues, even if the module loader you're using is Require.js. This is because Click uses a custom implementation of it, which differs from the version you can download from the Require.js.org website. AngularJS is a web application framework that makes building large sites more manageable. It's also a big part of the ClickSense client framework and the capability APIs. And although we don't ever explicitly ask for it or necessarily use it in our code, it is there. The more recent versions of ClickSense use version 1.5 of the Angular framework. And as with Require.js, the same considerations apply. If you're embedding Click content into an existing solution that uses either Angular 1.5 or another web application framework, you may run into issues. You can stay up to date with all of our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. If you'd like a more interactive learning experience, then head over to webz.academy, where you'll find our full set of training courses complete with hands-on activities and much more.